Hey, what's up everybody? It's Steven again. This is a Simply Good Coffee Brewer, and today I'm gonna to review it. Okay, a couple features I do like about this brewer is it has a bloom feature, which is always really nice. It's really easy to turn on and off, just a switch. Very simple on and off here. All the parts are plastic and clean really easy. They come off really easy. The basket comes out really easy. This is the lid for the basket. It has a magnetic catch on here to stop the flow of the coffee. I don't generally love that myself. I, you know, then you're gonna have some cups that are over extracted and some under extracted. So I don't generally recommend that feature, but also at least when the coffee's finished and then you wanna take the craft off, you could always flip that to closed just to stop the flow of the coffee so it doesn't get on the burner. It does have a burner on there underneath the glass plate to help keep the coffee warm. Again, anybody that's watched our videos, you know that I don't love a burner on there, but it is present if that's something you like, then that might be a feature you're looking for. It does have this nice funnel that pushes all the coffee down. What that does is help mix up the coffee as it's brewing, so that way some of the stronger coffee isn't just sitting in the bottom and the weaker coffee in the top. It does help to mix the coffees up. One design feature you may notice about this coffee brewer is this brewer does have a nice wide shower head, so it does disperse a nice even spray pattern down on the coffee bed. This filter basket is cone shaped. So it takes a number four filter. I always recommend the Melita filters. I think the Melita filters are some of the best ones out there for number four. What I have in here today, I have already pre-rinsed our filter as you should always do. The company claims a brewing temperature of 195 to 205 degrees. I did use a digital instant read thermometer in the water stream as it was coming out of the spray head, and I did measure 197 to 200 degrees. One nice feature of the wide shower head is it does provide a nice saturation on the brewer. The company markets it as an eight cup brewer. I did measure it at the four, six, and eight cup markers, and I did get 300 milliliters, 600, and 900 milliliters respectively for each cup, which translates, 300 milliliters does translate out to one cup, so an eight cup really is gonna be four cups of uh, 10 ounce cups of coffee in this brewer. The company recommends six to nine grams or one rounded tablespoon of coffee per cup of coffee. On the front, the brewer does have some nice notations on the glass reservoir on how much coffee you should use for a given amount of cups. At the eight cup, it's recommended anywhere from 56 to 72 grams of coffee for eight cups. I did the math on that, that's 16.99 or, or 17 grams of coffee to one, of coffee to water ratio. I like a 16 to one coffee ratio, so I would recommend brewing using 75 grams. Okay, I think that's pretty much all the features on this brewer. It is a pretty simple brewer. So let's go ahead and brew up some coffee, and then I'll talk about some things I do like about it, some things I don't like about it, and also some comparisons to a couple other brewers. coffee's all ready. The company claims a six minute brew time. I just measured it and it takes about seven minutes. One other thing to note is even though I did fill it right up to the eight cup line, I didn't fully get the eight cups out. I'm assuming that's just because the grounds absorbed a lot of the water I and mean, I did put more coffee in than what they recommend. So I'm sure that probably affected the result. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour some of this and try it out and see how it compares to how we normally brew. I brewed up today some of our Direct Trade Columbia from our partners in Tolima. I know what this coffee tastes like, so that's why I decided to brew it, so I can have a fair comparison. And let's give that a shot and see what I think. All right, uh, it is super hot. I don't generally like my coffee this hot. So it definitely brews plenty hot. But all the flavors are there and present in this coffee brewer. One unique feature of this brewer that I've not really seen very often on coffee machines is a two cup function, which is really one 10 ounce cup on this brewer. So I want to give that a shot. I'm going to brew up some of their Ethiopia Chechko Kefabita. I mean, just try that out. It's a nice fruity, 
fruit forward coffee and I just want to see how that brews up and I also just want to try out the two cup function. So let's go ahead and brew that up and see what we come up with. It actually came out with a pretty flat bed in there. That's really surprising. Uh, probably almost as good as if you were doing a pour over. And it finished in less than four minutes, which is about the same a pour over would take you. So that's promising already right there. Before we get to that though, I just want to go back to my Columbia and I previously brewed and see how that tastes. Yeah, that is really delicious. That tastes exactly what I expect it to taste. Um, it's got those great notes of tangerine and brown sugar. Really good coffee. All right, let's pour some of this and see how we're doing. A few other points I wanted to point out about this brewer doing some comparison shopping. I did, went on Amazon and just did a search for eight cup coffee brewers. Of course, the Bonavita is one of the most popular ones out there. Bonavita eight cup with the stainless steel thermal carafe currently is coming in around 189. I did find it as cheap as 179. So it's right in line with this brewer at 179. The Metropolitan, which looks very similar to this and has the glass carafe that is coming in at 170 and that was the cheapest I could find that brewer. Um, another couple other unique features of this brewer is that it has a two year warranty, which is pretty good. And it also has a 30 day money back guarantee and comes with free shipping. So that's pretty unique. That's a pretty unique feature. And they have also decided to go with direct to consumer. They are not selling through stores. I'm gonna link a QR code down below for you where you can click that link and it'll take you directly to them to go ahead and purchase so you decide that's this is something for you. So let's try some of this coffee. Yeah, that's really bright and flavorful. It might not be quite as good as a, as a straight on uh, pour over. But it's pretty good. I mean, for something that brewed in three minutes, finished well. I'm sure some of the some of the water is getting around the grounds on the side of brewing that small of a cup. Maybe that isn't, you know, its optimal range. But it is an option. I I would certainly do it if it was. I'm just looking to get one cup and I had to run out the door. You could get that ready to go and go ahead and take whatever task you had to do and bounce out the door and there you go. You got a quick cup of coffee ready to go. Overall. I'm gonna to have to say this coffee is definitely a recommend for me. It's a pretty good brewer. I'm really pleased with it. I used it at home for about a month before I shot the video just to see what I thought of it. It's a really good brewer. So if this is if you're in the market for a brewer and this is something you're looking for, then why not give it a shot? Alrighty, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit me up down in the comments to let me know what you thought of the video. Hey, don't forget to like the videos, it really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe. Then you'll always be notified whenever our new videos are available. And check us out at BrutusRoasting.com. Alright, thanks everybody for watching. Take care. Peace.